Hey guys, we are starting off the night with one of my favorite dinners. So I'm making shrimp tacos. I'm just gonna give you a brief kind of description on how I do it. It's honestly super easy. So I just cut up some of the toppings that I'm gonna put in and I just marinated the shrimp. I put cumin, paprika, garlic powder, and cayenne with salt and I just kind of mix it up and I'm just about to put it on the pan and cook it. So I actually have these onions right now pickling in the fridge. I literally just cut up red onions and put red wine vinegar in them. I did this a couple hours ago just so they can be a little pickled for the tacos. It's better if I let them sit like overnight or something but I just remember to do it today. But this is definitely a crucial key ingredient to the tacos so got that in the fridge. Okay so we got the shrimp cooking. It's pretty much done and then we have all of the ingredients that I need. So I got my onions, I got the avocado, tomato, and then this is a coleslaw salad to put in. So I got that with the wraps. And then after the shrimp is done, I'm just gonna put one of these wraps on the oven so that it can be toasty. But yeah, so freaking good. I'm so excited. Okay, so after all the ingredients are inside, this is how it looks. It is so easy and such a simple dinner and it's so good. This is probably one of my favorite meals of all time. So yeah, this is my little dinner and I'm going to eat it while watching Selling Sunset. I'm so excited. Start unwinding for the night, but 10 out of 10 would recommend making this recipe. So I just finished dinner. I just was eating it while watching Selling Sunset and I've just been obsessed. Like that has been my show lately. I'm currently sitting on the air mattress because our couch hasn't come in yet, by the way. finish cleaning up after dinner that honestly didn't take as long as i thought it would but just feels so good to have like a clean space now and just to start really relaxing for the night so now is the time of the evening that i log on to my Babbel account and i do my language courses they sponsored one of my last videos if you guys saw and they're actually sponsoring this video again so thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring what Babbel is is their website or like an app as well and you can go on and you can learn a new language. I like doing the language course kind of at the end of the day because after all my work is done, then I can kind of do like my hobbies slash like my own thing. So I personally wanted to start learning Portuguese because my whole family is Portuguese, my parents speak Portuguese, and I've never learned how to speak. So I just really have been honestly wanting to learn it my whole life. So I'm just so excited to be learning it and have this opportunity. And it's so cool because like everything is done from on the app and online. So I don't have to go in person anywhere. And it's so easy because Babbel has short 10 minute interactive lessons. And their lessons were also designed by real language teachers. They're actually the best. Like I found it, their lessons to be so interactive and easy to do and also fun. And Babbel also has a 20 day money back guarantee. Learning a new language and learning Portuguese for me is just such a good way to improve myself for 2022 and continue learning. Um, it's all honestly been one of my goals ever since I reached out is to by the end of the year I just really want to learn like understand at least and just like speak kind of nice kind of fluently um, and that's just one of my self-improvement goals for 2022 so if you guys are looking to somehow um, improve yourselves, learn more, then I would definitely suggest thinking of a language that you've always wanted to learn, especially if you're about to go traveling or something. That would just be so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a lesson right now. Muito prazer. Ei, de nada. Oh, that's what I meant. De nada. There we go. Ciao. The thing that's so cool about learning on Babbel is that it's so interactive and they do like really fun games like this text message one. Um, that I love and it just makes it so easy and fun like it's not like I'm dreading doing these lessons like I actually get excited for them so if you guys want to get 65% off a Babbel subscription all you have to do is click the link down below in my description box so yeah thank you so much again to Babbel for sponsoring this video so it's currently 8:45 right now and I'm gonna like do a face mask I'm debating on taking a shower or taking a bath tonight like do I want the extra relaxation I am on my period so that would honestly be really nice so I might end up doing that a nice bath with bubbles and a face mask that kind of sounds so nice right now maybe I'm gonna do that because I was like mm, try to take a shower but I think I deserve a bath tonight because honestly my stomach has been like really upset this whole day because of my period so I think I deserve that honestly <laughs> I 
feeling good because I got 22 out of 25. And this is a pretty good score for me, okay? Considering I'm new. Okay, so I'm currently running a bath. I'm so excited. And we are going to do a face mask right now. I'm just going to remove my makeup and then put a face mask on and hop in the bath. So to remove my makeup, I just use the Garni micellar water and with a cotton pad. I really wanna purchase reusable ones instead of buying these, but I'm just trying to use up the ones that I have before I buy like reusable ones just so I can not throw them out. So if you have any recommendations of reusable face pads, please let me know because I don't wanna purchase them again. I wanna get reusable ones for next time. So let me know if you have any recommendations in the comments. After I do the Garni micellar water, I just go in with the CeraVe foaming cleanser. I've been using this one for like, I feel like two years now. It's just been my go-to and it's really reasonably priced and just really good for a cleanser. So it's good for dry skin too. So as you can tell, I just applied a face mask. This is the one that I did. It's by this Canadian brand called Blue and it's their Glacial Oceanic Clay Mask. And I love this so much. I love all their face masks in general, but I'm gonna leave this on while I go in the bath and we'll chat in the bath. I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. Don't worry, I have a bathing suit on. I'm not trying to get demonetized today. But anyways, so I just wanted to talk about self-care and how it's so important. I literally went to Joel and I was like, wow, like it's so nice to take a bath when I, cause usually I only take baths or mostly take baths when I have really bad period cramps cause it helps. And I was like, oh, it's so nice taking baths when I feel good. And he's like, yeah, like, that's so important. You can't just take care of yourself when you're feeling shitty. You got to take care of yourself all the time. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so true. And I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my goodness, it's like nurturing a plant. If you don't, well, that's my timer for the face mask, but it's definitely not dry yet. Um, if you have a plant and you don't water it, you don't give it the right soil, you don't give it sunlight, you don't care for it, then it's going to die. And that's kind of the same thing in kind of a different sense that could happen to us. If you're not caring for yourself, if you're not nurturing yourself, if you're not loving yourself, then you're going to eventually burn yourself out physically, mentally. You might get into some sort of bad mental state and you're gonna start to notice the effects of if you're not really fully taking care of yourself. At the end of every single night, I make sure that I do something for myself, whether it's as simple as doing my full skincare routine and really just like putting effort into it to make myself feel good or to make myself a dessert, like anything really that is gonna make myself happy after I was productive that day and worked hard and even if I didn't even if I had a shitty day and I felt like I wasn't productive it's still important to nurture yourself and take care of yourself and we're in it for the long run like you're you and you're stuck inside your body forever like that's the one person that you can't get away from is yourself you can let go of friends you can let go of girlfriends you can let go of boyfriends you can detach yourself from family members you can do it all but you can't let yourself you can't detach yourself from yourself like you're stuck with your body you're stuck with yourself for your whole entire life and that's why it's so important to nurture and take care of yourself because you're in it for the long run with yourself and it's like i've never really thought about it in that aspect until recently and i was kind of reflecting on it and i was like damn like you really only have you at the end of the day and i personally feel like this past year like last year and this year i've been sort of neglecting like friendships in a way like i've had friends that i used to be friends with that has reached out to me and like we hung out once and it's like i never reached back out to them and i've been honestly neglecting friendships this past few couple years maybe a year and a bit but 
I've just been having putting like myself into friendships and I haven't really been focusing on them and growing relationships with other people because I honestly feel like I've just been focusing on myself which isn't a bad thing like I feel like we all need to go through that period where we only focus on ourselves and it's not selfish to do that um, because it's cheesy to say but like if you don't love yourself then you can't really love others and you need to make sure that you know you're connected with yourself and i feel like that's just what i've done these past like couple of years is i really just like found who i am and i've been connecting with myself and looking back on it i realized that like because of that i've been neglecting friendships and i haven't been like really trying my best which is fine because i needed this past couple of years to reflect and focus on myself and i realized that and so i've just been thinking like now moving forward in this next chapter and stage of my life i want to start nurturing friendships because I am doing the nurturing on myself and I've kind of already experienced that. I know kind of what I need now. I know myself better. And now I can move forward and nurture, put some water in other plants and other aspects of my life, if that makes sense. I keep making jokes like, oh my God, I have no friends. I have no friends. And it's like, that's partially my fault as well because this past few years, like I was just saying, I've just been focusing on myself but going forward i definitely want to start watering other things because once you water yourself and once you nurture yourself that's when you're going to have water to nurture other things in your life too that's why you always need to keep your pot full so that you have energy and stuff to nurture other things in your life as well because if you're not full yourself then you're not going to have energy to do other things if that makes sense so yeah that was just a little reflection moment that i've been thinking about um that self-care inner care getting to know yourself um in deeper levels is just so important and self-care doesn't have to be physical things like taking a bath doing face masks skincare even though like those are things that i personally enjoy it doesn't have to be that for you it can be whatever makes you feel personally happy whatever feels makes you feel like you're connecting with yourself it's gonna look different for everybody but yeah that was my little moments with michaela i'm gonna wash this face mask off right now so I'm focused i'm gonna wash my face and mask off and then we're gonna do the rest of my little night routine anyways i'll see you guys when i take this face mask off because it's kind of getting a little dry now so okay so i just washed my face mask off and did my skincare in terms of skincare i use the micellar water and then the cerave face wash but if i'm completely honest i switch between my skincare products all the time like i have a skincare cabinet that i have products that i've bought myself and also got sent from brands so i honestly alternate every single night i don't know if this is a bad thing or a good thing but i alternate between all of my products like all of my serums here i'll put a different one on every single night sometimes i'll do the summer fridays mask because it's like a really heavy moisturizer and to be honest i everything i have i absolutely love this brand actually is so good this is a very authentic um argan oil brand and they are just so Good. it makes my skin so soft and i also use this in my hair so it's kind of a two-in-one um i'll have their website down below because i actually really love them but yeah so as i was saying i just rotate between skincare products and that's just what i do to be honest i don't have like a set routine right now i just love trying out the new things that i get and that's basically it to be honest everything just makes my skin feel good i haven't found anything that i dislike so far so yeah to be honest, I just alternate. So now's the time of the night where I make my delicious drink. This is not coffee by Oasis Adaptogens. Basically, it's an adaptogenic drink that has a whole bunch of functional mushrooms like reishi, cordyceps, lion's mane, if you guys are familiar with any of those. Um, it has like so many amazing benefits for you. It can like reduce stress, helps me feel more energized. There's just so many good benefits to it and it's all natural. I've literally been having this drink every single night for a very long time now and I've noticed so many good health benefits and it tastes so good and it's just like my comfort drink at night now. So I just make it with hot water, boiling water and then I put a little bit of oat milk and a little bit of um, sweetened creamer on it. I will have their website linked down below if you guys are interested, but yeah, this is my go-to. So yeah, this is what it looks like, and it's just it's so good. It's, like I said, my comfort drink, and I love it so much. So I actually just popped myself some popcorn because I am craving it. And you know what? It's fine to treat yourself. Like, you gotta listen to my body. Oh. That is so hot. 
Oh my god, this just looks so good right now. Okay, I'm currently on our makeshift couch, which is the air mattress for now. We got the popcorn. This is our little setup for tonight. We got the popcorn. We got the smart sweets because these are my ride or die. Okay, got those. And then we got a little side table over here because we don't have the furniture yet. <laughs> We got my not coffee with my ice water. Ice water is essential as well because you're gonna get extremely thirsty from the popcorn. So you need the ice water, okay? It all balances itself out. And this is just the perfect setup. I'm so excited. We got Selling Sunset on and I'm so excited to watch a new episode. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna watch the one episode and then brush my teeth and start getting to bed.